Hey everyone, today we'll be making capsicum gravy or tokku we call it. It's a very standard gravy. You can make this and it sits well in the fridge for um, at least two weeks. This is a perfect side dish for chapati, um, rice or even curd rice. It will be a very good combination for uh, curd rice as a side. I will chop this up and I will get all the ingredients ready and I will see you in few minutes. I'm going to leave the, these are called ribs. This actually gives the spiciness for this. Um, you can, you can remove it if you don't want it, but I like the, you know, the kick. We are adding a generous handful of garlic cloves with corona and everything on scene. It's advised to add a lot of garlic and it's, it's believed that garlic gives a lot of immunity. I know it's a smelly thing but we love it. This is uh, one large onion, a small one. If you have a large one, just take half of it. This is a tomato based uh, gravy, so we'll be using four small tomatoes. I'll chop it up. So I have a pan here, which is heating up. I'm pouring some oil from my favorite dispenser. Some fennel seeds. I'm also adding some dried curry leaves. So as mentioned earlier, chopped capsicum or bell pepper, onion, and garlic. So I'll go ahead and add the garlic and the onion. It's been 30 seconds and I'm adding the bell pepper flow. This will take a good 10 minutes to soften up. So let's go ahead and saute this uh, without a lid for 10 minutes, mixing it in between, like say every two minutes. You want this caramelization, you see, the brown parts in the onion, you want this caramelization. 
the flame is still in medium high. Teaspoon of salt. So we are at the five minute mark. At this point, let's go ahead and add the chopped tomatoes. Poach small chopped tomatoes. I'll go ahead and add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix it thoroughly. We have to cook this until it's all mushy and combined really well. Every few minutes make sure you mix it so that it doesn't burn in the bottom. So we are not going to add water to this uh, item. The, the water in the tomato is enough. I am going to go ahead and put the lid on and cook with the lid on. It's been two minutes. Let's check on and see. Like I said, you don't need water. You see, right? The tomato, the juices from the tomato. That's more than enough. So now we are at the tenth minute mark. So let me recap. First we added all the vegetables, sauteed it. In the 5 minute mark we added turmeric powder and the tomatoes. Now in the 10th minute, minute mark I am adding a generous heaping spoon of red chilli powder. Reduce the flame. And cook with the lid on for another 5 minutes but every minute we are going to check on it and make sure we mix it thoroughly so that it doesn't burn in the bottom. So you see the oil being separated here. That is sign that your gravy is almost ready. Want to check if your bell pepper is cooked. Perfectly cooked bell pepper gravy is ready. This is uh, a great side accompaniment for curd rice. Vivian, we... Perfect side accompaniment for curd rice. And uh, if you just want to make uh, tomato rice type of a, a dish, just remove some of it. Leave a little bit on the in the pan itself. Add some hot white rice and mix it thoroughly and uh, you can eat it as a mixed rice. Um, it will be, go very well with dosa or with um, chapati too. Try this recipe and let me know if you like it. But before that, to keep the freshness, I am turning off the stove now. Make sure it's turned off and I will just squeeze in. I will just squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. It's going to add like the fresh citrus kick to it. So, so this will this the the citrus that I added now. It will add that pickle type of flavor. So you can store it in the fridge for at least two to three weeks and um, try this recipe and let me know if you like it. I will come up with more recipes and see you soon um, tomorrow. I also want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and for all the support you have given me so far. Please continue to support my channel, share it with your friends, like and comment down below to let me know if you like this. Thank you for watching. As always, happy cooking.